On March 22nd, 2016, I also attended the uh, police uh, facilities discussion that was done in the Human Park Community Center, and I wanted to thank the staff and the, the architects over there. I thought they did a good job and a good start at presenting that and raised lots of questions that I thought might get answered. Um, I guess some people here thought they were answered completely. Um, and they moved forward, but that was uh, not my family at the end of the meeting. What's worse than that, that night, I also went this councilman, Michael Clicker, uh, half part steward, one of the proponents of the recall measures that are uh, out in the community. The physical attack was shocking and offensive. And further, after the first physical attack, Mr. Stewart put up his hands as if to surrender or protect himself and not to provoke any further contact. But Mr. Glicker continued his attack and shoved him again, despite seeing that it was offensive and shocking. What occurred next was also disappointing and saddening. Mr. Glicker was allowed to return to the meeting and Mr. Stewart was barred from the meeting at the direction of the city manager, Layman Walker. A police officer was stationed at the door and refused to allow Mr. Stewart access to the public meeting. When asked why, he said the manager told him to keep him out. When asked why Mr. Glicker was allowed in the meeting, he said, I'm following orders. Later, I witnessed Mr. Glicker laughing and smiling as Mr. Walker wrapped his arm around him as if to say, I approve your actions. It gave me little confidence that this administration will take these actions seriously, let alone as seriously as they took it when they prosecuted two citizens at the request of a councilman's family. Those citizens spent thousands, if not tens of thousands of dollars defending themselves. Those cases were tossed out of the court. There are no standing convictions for them. I would hope the city would take this case just as seriously as those two cases that were based on such flimsy evidence. I'm not sure many people know this here, but this is the second time that a proponent of the recall effort has been attacked. A woman was attacked in University City as she was trying to collect uh, recall petition signatures. And the petition signatures were stolen from her. Why does this community believe it's okay to attack proponents of a recall effort? Their constitutionally protected right to petition government. And if some reason, that's okay. Let's knock them around. Let's show them who's boss. That's what we've got here. Moreover, to blame the victims of these physical attacks is just misplaced. I suppose there is some kind of defense that could be raised. Oh, it's self-defense. But I guess Mr. Stewart exercised discretion when Mr. Glick was bearing down on him and pushing him. And Mr. Stewart didn't cause any further physical display of that. Thank goodness Mr. Stewart, under physical attack, did not defend himself and turn it into a greater physical altercation. Maybe Mr. Glicker could have exercised the same level of discretion. I've been before this council many times asking the mayor to enforce her disability pledge. Each time she's done nothing. I ask again that you take action. By hand right action, I have been in a private conversation with Mr. Glicker promises he'll never do it again. He promised before that he would that there was no room for violence in the city. Now is the time for you to leave, and this is the time and place to do it. Meaningful action against Mr. Glicker's conduct is necessary. If not, it just demonstrates the mayor is advocating for rule. 